If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Here we have a pipe with two parts. Let's say part A had a maximum flowing capacity of 20 liters per minute. And in part B, we have a maximum flowing capacity of 40 liters per minute. Since there's only 20 liters per minute flowing to B, so therefore we have only 20 liters per minute flowing inside here as well. So 20 liters per minute. The maximum flowing capacity is the smallest value here, which is 20 liters per minute. So the outflow for this pipe is 20 liters per minute. Now this one here. So let's say A has a maximum flowing capacity of 25 liters per minute, and B has a maximum flowing capacity of 10 liters per minute. So there is a blockage in part A. So we know that the maximum flowing into B is 10 liters per minute. Because inflow cannot be greater than outflow. So therefore the maximum flowing for this pipe is 10 liters per minute. Again, in order to find the maximum flowing capacity, so we just look for the smallest value. That is 10 liters per minute minute in this case. The maximum flow minimum cut theorem. So minimum cut will give us the maximum flowing capacity. Let's have a look at this one here. So we have seven units, five units and nine units. So all together we have 21 units flow out of the source. The idea is to find out the maximum value that flow into the sink. There is might not be 21 units flow all the way to the sink because there might be some blockage in some part of the network. So to do this, we need to find out the maximum flowing capacity of each part first. To work this out, we're going to start from the sink. So we can see four units flow into sink. So this is from A. So we focus on A now. So we have four units flowing out of A and two units as well. So all together is six units flow out of A. And we have seven units flow into A. So inflow cannot be greater than outflow. So therefore this should be six units. So therefore this instead of seven units flow into A, there is only six can flow into A. And we know that four go in here and then two flow to vertex B. So they become six altogether. Now we can focus on vertex C. So we can see eight units flow to the sink from C and three units flow to B as well. So altogether A plus three is 11. So 11 units flow out of C and we only have nine units flow into C. So outflow cannot be greater than inflow. So the maximum is nine units can flow out of C because the only nine units flow into C because we want maximum unit that flow into the sink. So therefore we want eight here. So because eight go there, so we will have one flow to B. So this is one here. And then we know that this is nine unit go all the way to C. Now let's focus on vertex B. So we have one unit flow into B, another two, and five. So all together is eight units flow in to B. So I just write eight here, and we have nine units flow out. So remember, outflow cannot be greater than inflow. So the maximum is eight. So we have eight units flow into the sink. And this is maximum as well, five. Now we need to circle the one with its maximum flowing capacity. This one here flowing to its maximum capacity. This one, this one, this, and this. Now we just need to cut them. You don't need to cut through all of them, but you do need to cut through so that it's separate from the source to the sink. So we can just cut like this. So you can ignore 
this one here. Now it's already stopped flowing from the soil to the sink. So we just add this up. So which is 4 plus 2 plus 5 and plus 9. So that equal to 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 at 2 is 20. So therefore the maximum flowing is 20. So it could be 20 liters per liter. So we don't know. So I just write 20. You can write units if you like. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So we have 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 2 is 13. So we know that 13 units flowing out from the source. And then we need to find out the, what is the maximum units that can flow to the sink. So to do this. So first of all, I start from the sink. So we know that six units flow into the sink from vertex C. So I just write six units flow out from C. And it's only five units flow into C. So outflow cannot be greater than inflow. So they only have five units flow out of C. So this means that instead of six flow into sink, it's only five instead. And then we know that the maximum is five flow into C. Now we can focus on vertex A. So we have five unit flow into the sink. That is from A, so which is five unit I just write here. So you have two units flowing from B and then two unit flowing from the source. So all together is four unit flow in. So therefore the outflow cannot be five. It have to be four. So therefore this is four units. And we know that this is two unit flow in from the source and this is two unit flow into A as well. Now we can focus on vertex B. So we have three unit flow in to the sink, which is from B, which is three, and another two, which is five unit flow out of B. So which is, I just write here five units, so you can see. And then you have six unit flow in. So we only have five unit flow out, so therefore, it's only five unit flow into B. So this is five it's flow in because some blockage there. And then this is, should be three because two for this, two for this is five all together. There you go. Now we just need to circle the one that has full capacity. That is two, that this one, this one, and this one. So now we just need to cut through them. And it should be separate the source from the sink. There you go. This will stop the source flowing to the sink. So the maximum value is, I just add them up. The first one is 2 plus this one, 2 plus this one, 3 plus this one, 5. So this means 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, so it's 12 units. So therefore, the maximum flow is 12 units. Because this network is quite simple, so we can also do all combination of cuts, and then we find the minimum value of cuts. So it should give us the maximum flowing capacity. So let's work it out. So let's say the first cut, if I cut like this, so we go 5 plus 6 plus 2, which is... 13 units and I can just cut like this which is 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 so which is 8 so 10 12 so this is what we got and the next cut is I can cut like this so 5 plus 3 plus 5 so 13 and the next cut is I can cut like this so which is 5 plus 6 is 11 at 3, so 14. And I can also cut like this as well. So which is 2 units at 2, which is 4 at 3, which is 7 at 6, 
which is 13. So the smallest value is 12. So therefore, that will give me the maximum flowing capacity. Thank you so much for watching.